But a lot of interesting things happened, man. I I didn't know. Listen, I don't know what's going on. I know that fucking America's bombing the hoochies or something like that now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, but I also read this morning that, and, and I think this is great, that Shane Gillis is hosting Saturday Night Live. Yeah. You know, it's funny that when they fire him before the pandemic, right in the beginning of the pandemic. I think it was like 19, 2019 is what I saw. Yeah. And it was over a podcast he did where he said some racial stuff about some Asian people, you know. And they got rid of him and look what he did. He didn't fucking die. He, he rose to the top, you know. And whatever canceling means or whatever any of that stuff is. When the cream rises, you're not going to stop it with a cancellation unless you hit an old lady in the head and raped her. You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's hard, that, that's hard to the synagogue. Do. You hit her in the head with a hammer and you rape her. But I mean, you know, some of these, can <laughs> some of these cancellations have been fucking weird. But his cancellation was early on, mm -hmm. it was for something he had said on a podcast, which Listen, if you look up those church podcasts, I said a lot of bad stuff on those podcasts, okay? And some of the stuff I'm not proud of. And if you look at it, you go, what made me say it? Okay, I'm in the moment. I'm flowing. And you happen to something slips out or something like that. Anybody who knows me knows what my intentions were. And when you're doing a podcast in 2019, and maybe the podcast was a year old or something, I don't know. You know, things change very quickly. And people who weren't on board got thrown off board for no reason. But these people didn't give up. You know, there's, uh, I can name 10 comics that, including myself, that they tried to jade them off. But you're not doing nothing to me because hard work is more than your fucking stupid critique of something I said years ago. Right. When someone has to pick, when somebody has to pick a scab, from years ago, it's not good. It's well, not. Good. I don't know if you saw that. Someone made a video. I think Luis uh, Gomez retweeted it. It was like everyone who talked, not everyone, but a lot of the big people who talk shit about Shane, like with like the headlines, and like now, like they got fired or they don't work there anymore or like their show failed, and now Shane is <laughs> is host. And I don't know if you saw this. Like a week, within the like last two weeks. Bud Light signed him too. So like in the last week or two, it's been like two of the biggest things in the whole world want to work with him. And that clip didn't go away. Listen, man, redemption is a, it's a great feeling when you did something and it was a mistake and some people lost their fucking panties over it for no reason whatsoever. It had nothing to do with them or whatever. <clears throat> and then uh, you come back and go, listen, I'm back, bitches. And I got my thumb on you because I know all the motherfuckers that talk shit. So right. now you, now you got to bring me water and coffee and massage <laughs> my toes. And then you got the other Chinese kid on Saturday Night Live that, you know, he distances himself away from everybody, you know. Last week it was Haley. The week before it was fucking uh, somebody else was on the show and he didn't want to be close to him. You know, who the fuck do people think they are anymore? <laughs>